Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how we can use QR codes to create new catalogs or subcatalogs in Darkroom Core Edition and then use those subcatalogs to create separate galleries on Event Gallery and all by using a QR code to capture the image and then you can scan the QR code to retrieve images from your own private gallery that are not displayed on the gallery homepage. So let's go ahead and jump right into Core Edition. We'll see how this is all set up. There are a few moving parts um, and uh, I'll try to keep it as simple as possible, but let's jump into my computer and see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing that we'll need are QR codes that have a URL to our gallery and then a uh, slash and then some sort of unique identifier after that and that's going to become the cat gallery um, and also the catalog or sub catalog so if this is something outside of your realm um, I have created a Google Sheets document that can help uh, with this type of setup and what we're going to do is go to darkroomsupport.com the help center um, and do a search for Q, uh, QR code maker. And in there, there will be a, a Google Sheets, a link to a Google Sheets document. And for you, it should open up as a copy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a copy so I don't affect the original. And if for some reason it comes up and it has uh, pound ref uh, and exclamation point, you just have to allow access. So there's a couple buttons that you'll want to do. And then it should um, then populate with the QR codes. So in order to update this for your own gallery, you can see it has mine there. I'm going to go ahead and edit that url and this is going to be um, you'll you can just copy and paste from e, uh, your event gallery client site but this would be your gallery um, so it should not say your gallery it should be your specific url to your gallery and you'll see that after we do that that everything updates this uh, this is a something that you can read actually see because um, QR codes kind of hard to see and understand what's in there so you can see that it has the URL and then it has this prefix and then it has the sequence number and then an, uh, a suffix and the reason why we have this is it, it only has a hundred um, a sequence of a hundred but by changing uh, running through a hundred and then changing just one of these characters you can do another hundred and you can see how it's updating um, so that's a good way to get essentially an infinite amount of uh, QR codes you just have to run a hundred at a time so once you have those created you can select this um, row and print and it's gonna to want to take all that stuff and try to fit it in there just change it to selected cells and then you would click next and it would output to a PDF a hundred QR codes that are unique for your website and then print it using whatever uh, your, your favorite method I used a, a label printer and then just attached it to a I don't know if you can see that but um, to a a print so that's how to create the QR codes we'll go ahead and switch over to um, core edition and see how this is done and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop my camera so I can use this camera for core so okay so now let's open core edition and see what we need to set up here so I have a tethered camera 
uh, currently attached and um, I have a catalog right here with nothing in it what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my QR code scanner if I right click um, you can see the different options what we want to have for the QR code action is going to be create sub event from URL and a QR code so that should be checked and what will happen is whenever I show the QR code to the camera it'll create a new uh, catalog sub catalog so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my scanner by using the QR code the shortcut which is Q and we'll take two pictures there and then we'll do it one more time just for fun and we're imagining that these this is three different groups of people um, and it's real helpful to have a camera that has uh, is able to focus while in live view and what we'll do is take three pictures there So, what's really neat here, and I'll pull it up on my phone first and kind of show you a little bit more what's going on. The image is already available just by scanning the same QR code on my phone. That was one here. If I can, uh, select that one, it has three images, and then the other one should have. Believe this one will have two yeah so you can take the picture and then hand it to the guest and they can walk off and they have their own separate gallery what's really really neat here let's switch over to um, my web browser and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back to my other camera real quick just a sec okay I'm back so if we go to our um, event gallery admin side, you can see that here are those um, galleries. If I'm on my client site, they don't show up here. And the reason for that is a brand new option that we added um, called master settings. So we'll switch back to the admin side. And right here under settings, you will see this new option, master settings. And what's happening there is it's creating, when it creates a new gallery, it's uh, using these settings. And you'll notice that I don't have it set to display on the home page. I don't have it set to show breadcrumbs. And that's to keep a, a, a separation between the main gallery homepage and that specific um, gallery. So it becomes a little bit more private. You can add a um, password protection on it. Um, now that password protection would be the same for everybody, but um, one more level of uh, protection. So the in core edition, how we got it to automatically upload, I'll show you that part in just a moment. Um, we were using a uh, using auto print. So it creates a new catalog. Let's look at those those catalogs it created based on that when it scanned the QR code and then whenever I captured an image I had it set to auto print and auto print was set to use the catalog name for the gallery name and that's how it takes information from the QR code into core and then passes that on to event gallery and then right back around you can scan the code um, and it takes you to that gallery and that's how that all works um, you're using um, event gallery to host the image separately and this is all made possible by that one small option of uh, the master settings and allowing you to make a gallery hide it from the main gallery homepage so now when these three different groups of people take their QR codes they can scan it and only access their images and without knowing that sequence of numbers um, 
they wouldn't know how to get to the other people's gallery without having access to their unique QR code. So I'm very excited about this for booth users. There will be a video covering uh, a similar setup. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you're as excited about it as I am. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.